Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I am back with the third war of week one of season four <laughs> of Alliance Wars. <laughs> so um, I am happy to report that I am back on path four. <laughs> so you guys know I feel much more comfortable on path four than I do on path eight. Hashtag home sweet home. Technically, Path 8 is a little bit easier, but I just didn't seem to do all that well on it, and um, it, it, just, it does have, uh, in my opinion, the easier mini-boss, but the guy who was running Path 4 wasn't doing so well, so I got to come back in and uh, do it again. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, so the alliance we're facing is Philippines Mightiest. R dot P. I don't know, those are some funny little characters. I don't know what they represent. They are a 17.7 million alliance plat 3 with a war rating of just over 2300. So, I bring in my normal crew of Star Lord, Ghost Rider, and Blade. And the first node is Node 11, and this has the unblockable Special 2 and a little bit of Strike Back. Normally, with a Skill Champ on here, I assume it's going to be Thor Ragnarok, but it's just a little bit Electra. Or a little Electra, <laughs> not a little bit. <laughs> but you know, Thor Ragnarok, you can come into a bit of a pickle because you can't use a special on him because he'll get a bar of power, but you need to get a special on him to, you know, stop that power gain. So, it's a little bit of a conundrum, and that's why I brought in Star-Lord, because he hits hard. So, but Electra goes down, easy peasy. All right, so the next node is node 17, and we got a little enhanced special one, and it's a Cosmic on here, so you guys know who it's gonna be. Cosmic Spidey, and of course, it is. So I bring in Star-Lord and I do make a small error, which does cost me a little bit of help right there. I tried to uh, dodge a little bit too early, I was a little bit too quick with that evade, and you know, I got hit. But I just come right back swinging at Spidey like a drunken sailor, <laughs> and then I just rush in again, and you know, this fight's really not that hard with Star-Lord. I get my L2 off, and boom. Down he goes. No problemo. Alright, so I'm checking this guy's profile right now because I see a mutant on here and usually with an all or nothing it's Deadpool X-Force and I have a few different strategies for dealing with this node. First, I bring in Ghost Rider if I see a mutant because, you know, I usually just take the L3 and it really doesn't do too much damage because I'm bleed immune, so I don't get any bleed on me. And if um, it's uh, if if it's not I use I can if it's not a mutant I bring in um, blade and drop the invulnerable ability boost and just you know parry bleed them. So, um, but this ends up being a storm, and I'm like, oh no, because oh if I take that L3. No bueno. <laughs> and I was thinking I should have put on that invulnerable ability boost on, but she's just going to stun me after the L3, so I'm like, oh crap. So I do push her, but I'm able to get off my special 2 and power drain her, so I'm like, hopefully that'll save me some time and get me back into this fight. So I just come in, pop off a special 1, you know, got ch throwing the chains and stuff, and at this point I'm like, oh no. I'm going to push her, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to push her to that special three, and there's literally nothing I can do about it. So I am trying to get as much damage in as I can, and I finally get her to the special three. And I pop, because I pop her with my special one, and boom, she throws it instantly. And I don't get quite the damage reduction that I was hoping for it. Oh, Man, look at that nasty damage she did. <laughs> and she's gonna come at me with a stun, but like a dumbass, she backs out. And I hit her with the chain and quick intercept, and down she goes. I took a ton of damage, but lucky me, still alive. So now we're at the mini boss node, and we've got ourselves a six star Gamora. 
aka Gam Gam. <laughs> I thought this was weird placement for a, a Gamora. I mean, I know she's a six star, but she's still Gamora. <laughs> and um, of course, she's stun immune. And, you know, this is the dismay node, so I'm just going to try to wail away on her with Star-Lord. Not really a big deal. I do. I really should intercept more, but I'm just trying to bait out those special ones and get my shots in when I can. I really don't want to get hit. I know it's a long fight, but um, this, this, it does have a little bit of armor up, and uh, this fight also has a 10% chance to stun. So I really cannot slip up and get hit. Plus, if I get hit, I lose my combo. And then I get the dismay on me. So it's pretty much lights out if I slip up. So, goal. Don't get hit. <laughs> but, you know, I got to knock her out. And now we are at the cornered and vigor node. And we've got a four-star mutant on here. And so usually what I see here when it's a mutant is a cable. So... I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put a little heal in Star-Lord, and to my surprise, it's a damn domino. And I'm like, oh crap. But then I was like, you know what, Katie? You got this. You know how to fight domino. You just, you know, just don't worry about it. Just go in here and do what you do. And I mean, luckily, it, she is only a four star. So I am getting some parries off here, and I'm doing the little, you know, evade back and come back at her. And uh, so, and that that is working. I don't want to punish her specials. I'm just trying to bait those out, and uh, I'm doing pretty good damage. I mean, Star Lord's hitting her like a champ. So, I kind of felt like this was a weird node to put Domino on, but hey, man, whatever works, right? But luckily for me, <laughs> it worked out in my favor. So now she's got the vigor, and I drop the SD one, little five hit combo, boom down she goes. Alright, so now we're at the bleed node and we've got a mystic on here. And it's a, a six star mystic, zero charges. So, you know, instead of, uh, heal whoops, sorry, gotta check if I was recording. Instead of healing up Ghost Rider, I, uh, I, I decide I'm gonna go in and, and bring in Blade. And I'm like, should I? Shouldn't I? And then I'm like, you know what, yep, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and bring in Blade and uh, pop a little boost on, you know, a little 10%. I figured it, it would probably be good enough, and then I'm going to pop on this uh, combat regeneration boost. So with my willpower, this boost, plus, you know, Blade's on his own on-demand healing, I figured that Bleed shouldn't do too much damage. And, whoo, you know, then it ends up being a Morning Star. So I was like, huh, okay, all right. You know what? Not a problem here. She's not duped. But I think this is actually a good matchup for Blade. I do have, um, I, I do have to kind of worry about her, her um, stunning me, and uh, I'm, I'm trying. I don't want her to do that. Mm -hmm. And I try to. I want to get her to throw her special one because I find it to be much easier to dodge than her special two. Even though I can dodge it, let's all face it, the special one is way easier to dodge. So I remember, however, when when uh, she was first introduced to the game, she was a bit of a pain, especially with that special two, but she goes down, easy peasy, only lose about 30% health. So now we're at the miniboss, and we've got a Quake on here. So I was debating between Star-Lord and Blade, but then I was like, nope, we're going to bring in, we're going to bring in uh, Blade, even though Star-Lord is usually a good champ for this node, too. But I was like, you know what, Blade will be fine. He's got the class advantage. But then something weird happens, and I don't exactly know why this happened. And this is the first time I'm watching it. And right here, when I was going to, well, not right here, but um, when she was about 20% health, something very strange happened. And I, But right now I'm trying to save my special. Um, for right at the end for that flip when that plague mind expires and I also want to have one saved up in case she gets any uh, quake charges on me so that I can uh, drop a special whenever I need to to uh, you know dodge that quake charge <laughs> so she's got one charge on me right now which isn't too bad and you know I, right there I don't know what the heck happened but it just looked like I just 
stop fighting and she just started hitting me back like my last hit didn't register so that could have been disastrous but luckily blade comes in and finishes her off easy peasy so that was actually my last contribution to this war and how did we do well we won this one and so we are currently one for two this season so far and I am happy to say that you know I I'm happy <laughs> we changed some things around we moved a few people around you know we're still continuing to do that we're gonna be bringing in a couple new people over the next few weeks so hopefully that'll work out and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how everything goes um, I also want to give a quick shout out to the Philippines mightiest you guys were an awesome opponent kudos to you and I would like hey maybe we can have a rematch hmm? <laughs> so um, good luck to you Philippines mightiest in the upcoming season and this season um, and I think that's all that I have if you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more please remember to like and subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and Twitter thanks guys Bye.